This is Andre Touchy Feely. You listen to the Verbal Scrap Podcast. Let's get weird. This is the Shark, Anthony Avalu. You listen to Verbal Scrap. This is Justin, the Raw Deal Basement. You listen to Verbal Scrap. This is Nan Fan, and you're listening to the Verbal Scrap Podcast. I'm a fighter. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to fight. Hey, this is Dave Hirsch by MMA Gold, and you're listening to Verbal Scrap. I've worked so hard to do what i got to do in here. I've took so much blood for this sport. i took so much pain, everything for this sport. Hey, y'all, this is Eat Johnston. Uh, you're listening to SRMMA.com Verbal Scrap. Stay tuned. they got some good stuff coming up. This is Jay Wan from SRMMA.com. We're here on the Verbal Scrap Podcast talking to the West Coast Fighting Light Heavyweight Champion, Anthony A. Train Ruiz. How you doing today, my friend? Pretty good, man. I wanted to chit-chat with you. Got some big Tachi Palace news, but I uh, had some other thoughts I wanted to chit-chat with you about as well. Obviously, uh, you're going to be back at Tachi Palace. Um, what does it mean to you to, to be working with those guys again? It's nice, man. I, I, I love the whole venue. I love uh, uh, being in Lamore, in, in Lamore at Tachi Palace. They... Uh, they really hook it up, so I'm excited. Well, they uh, they recently told us you're going to be fighting Colin Hart. Um, that's an interesting matchup, considering you know you being a, such an experienced veteran, but he does have that that tough 17 um, experience on a national stage. What do you think about the matchup uh, when it was first proposed to you? I feel pretty confident about it. You know, he's uh, I think he's like 23, 24, so he's he's kind of young. Um, I I know he he's coming out of uh, Dave Terrell's camp, and so. You know, I'm, I'm I'm expecting him to to try to take me down and submit me, but I'm, I'm excited. Well, I wanted to ask you about your traveling lately. You you've been going all over the world. You know, fighting in Russia and I'm back here. What has the that been like for you? Is that something that you enjoy doing and going anywhere in the world to fight? Oh man, it, it it's been a dream come true, man. Uh, where Russia was just like the best thing that, that's ever happened as far as fighting goes. Um, uh, you know, I'm I'm always willing to go somewhere. Uh, I've been real lucky, man. I've I've had I've had some 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 good things happen to me, and so you know I'm just taking them one step at a time, and you know going going at it. Well, recently um, you had you had lost your Tachi Palace title, but it was an epic bout. Do you feel like a Colin Hart matchup in the organization puts you right back in that mix? And is that something you are aspiring to do in your career? Are you interested in getting the Tachi title back anytime in the future? Well, uh, sure, sure, I'd love to, man. Uh, um, yeah, I think. Uh, Another win here will will definitely put me back in that uh, in that situation. Um, you know, may, maybe even two. Angel Deanda is uh, is who I lost the, the the belt to, and so you know, I mean, it could happen a year from now, or you know, he, he he's also signed on with uh, another organization. The so World I'm, Series. I'm not sure if he'll still be around, mm-hmm. but um, I, I would love to have the chance to fight him again. You know, for the belt. Well, this coming matchup against Colin Hart, um, let's talk a little bit more about him. He's a guy, he's got three submission victories, TKO win, but both of his losses have come by decision. So he seems like a guy that you're going to have to you know, take him all the way to the, to the to final bell to really pull out a decision. Do you feel like your experience gives you more than anything maybe he's seen in the cage? Do you feel like you'll be able to be a guy to, to finish it before the judges? Um, I, I think I can finish it. Um, he's, uh, I know he's, He's aggressive. He always comes out strong. You know, I I've I, I feel like the experience that I've had and the amount of rounds that I've done um, and the, the amount of cage time that I've had just exceeds so much that I, I've, I've I've learned to almost like uh, like take him out in the deep waters and, and kind of drown him. You know, I'm 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 uh, I'm good at overwhelming people most of the time, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from the kid. I know his stuff. You know, I, I, I plan to use my experience and, um, I know he's, he's got a few fights, you know, he's at six and two. So he'll, he's young and he's aggressive. And I don't, I don't really think that, that he's used to my type of fighting. Well, I only had two more things for you. You've gone uh, five and two, your last seven bouts, um, you, you're obviously a West Coast champion. You haven't competed for them in a while. They've been able to grow their brand. Uh, a lot of guys come out of their organization and, and go to bigger shows and stuff like that. I was interested in, in if you had any thoughts about defending your West Coast title anytime in the future. Uh, well, I, I'd love to actually. I I talk to Brandon as often as I can, and I'm I'm always willing to to defend my title. Um, I would actually love to. Be, before this fight was arranged, I was hitting Brandon up trying to. Get, get him to, to get me a fight so I could defend it. Um, 
you know, I think uh, sometimes it's, it's hard to to find the right matchups, mm-hmm. you know, but I think Brandon is trying, and when he's ready, I'll, I'll be ready. Well, last thing I wanted to ask you, you know, at, at your career, like you've been doing a lot of fights all over the world, like we had said, you've been able to win multiple titles. Um, what What's driving you now? What What's on the horizon for you? Where are you hoping to go right now? I'm, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to have fun, man. I, I mean, actually, I I I know I'm not UFC material. I mean, in 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 my heart and in my mind, I think I am. But you know, I'm I'm like 35. As far as the UFC goes, they're looking at me being 35. You know, my record is 30 and 18, and so um, I'm not a, exactly the right draw they're looking for. You know, and so. So at, at this point, I'm just looking to to just have fun, and I love to I love getting in the cage, and I love banging hard, and um, I love getting hit, and I love hitting people, you know. So I'm just gonna I, I'll continue that as long as I can. So I, I've got t- probably two or three more years left. Well, you can check out srmma.com for more of that information because you know we'll be down there for Tachi Palace. It'll be good to see uh, Anthony Ruiz, Colin Hart going at it. That's going to be an epic matchup in the division for Tachi Palace, and hopefully we'll be able to see you defend that West Coast fighting title sometime down the road. Um, I wanted to give you a chance to give thanks and shout-outs before we let you go. All right, on. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to give a shout-out to uh, Team Ruiz Fight Management. Uh, he, he's been hooking me up fat. Um, 5150 Energy Drink and and my camp, uh, Detroit Base Camp in Fresno, um, it, if it wasn't for these these people, I'd, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Thank you. Find SRMMA's Verbal Scrap Podcast on iTunes and at srmma.com.